Hi, it's Love with Me by Marley. Um, today I'm going to be making a sort of springtime sort of planter in a sort of kind of farmhousey style. Now, I have a, a, I don't know if you've watched my shelf video, but I made a shelf and some of the boards I used were of old Ministry Defence aerial boxes. So I have lo <laughs> most of the wood left. Still got some of the boxes actually, but this is one that I obviously did something. That I think what I did was I kind of just made it look kind of distressed. It was for outside, I had it did its purpose, and then I kind of brought it inside and I thought I'm going to do something with this someday. Today is the day, so but you can just get an old one box or go to um, a charity shop and find a box, or um, you could make a box. A box, it doesn't this doesn't necessarily need to go in a box. I'm sorry, I'm looking at my roots. It's lockdown. We all have lockdown here because you can't get anywhere to do your hair and you can't go out and none of the shops are open to buy anything to do hair with. So each day when I look on camera, I was looking at it the other day, it's so dark. Look at my roots. Anyway, that's irrelevant. <laughs> but personal information there. Everything we've been locked down in Scotland mm, last year, mm, most of last year, and then since uh, the beginning of this year, so We've already done a month of lockdown, so getting a bit over the lockdown now. Um, so anyway, moving on from lockdown here, need a box. I'm using a Made by Marley Rabbit, uh, well it's a hair, a decal, and you need a hot glue gun. Paint whatever colour you want to paint your box. I'm picking sort of spring sort of colours, so I'm using, not the white today, I'm actually using um, the Rustillium uh, Furniture Paint in Ducky. Duck egg blue, or is it just duck egg? It's just duck egg, just duck egg, and it's that sort of you can see by the tin because I'm a messy painter. It's that sort of really light baby blue. Now, what I initially was going to do was spray this all black, seal it, and then white chalk paint it, and then wet distress it back. But what I think I might do instead is I'm going to give it two good solid coats of this blue, and then I'm gonna shabby it up with a sort of kind of an off white sort of colour, not a white, maybe more heading towards a sort of beigey colour. I'm going to apply the hair onto it, I'm going to paint the hair, um, I don't know whether the one sort of colour might make it look like a bit more like a hair, I'm not quite sure yet. And this morning already I've been sitting at the computer and I've made this decal which, I'm which I've made into a stencil. Um, for those that have a silhouette, you know how to make stencils. Um, if you don't have a silhouette, you can use just ordinary stencils or you can freehand it or you can just keep it simple and write one word or um, you could cut letters out of a computer and decoupage them on and then seal it over the top. Don't be stuck if you don't have a silhouette. I haven't always had a silhouette. I say this in videos. I haven't. It's just I do it for speed and quickness and uh, I'm going to do a back to basics set of videos where I'll show you how to, if you don't have a silhouette, how to hand paint letters in best sort of kind of the most semi-professional not always straight and slick but they they come out pretty good and you don't need much you know, paint and some um carbon paper and a computer just to print off your words and you can do that quite easily so but that's a back to be basics video i'll do lots of different videos like that like how to make chalk paint how to make your own chalk paint um how to mix paint how to you know do all the how to's rusty paint finishes verdigris paint finishes do all those basic ones but anyway if you don't have a silhouette you can use stencils i've done this one and it's going to be a, a one that i stick on and stencil onto it and i'll probably do the lettering probably i mean you'll see my th th process as i go along either a sort of dark brown or maybe black no i'm not going to do black not black on the blue probably a sort of beigey brown um is the color i'm going to stencil it on so off camera, I'm going to go away and give this two solid coats of blue and um, then I'll get back to you and we will we'll do the rest. When at the end of it all, I'm going to stage it all, I'm just going to get into the garden. I might even take you with me and maybe just, I'm going to try and find a pot that will fit in here that I can put some water in. And I'm just going to fill it with some just greenery. Now it's January in Scotland, so what we might find, I don't know, but we'll go and have a wee forage maybe in the bushes. That's what we'll do. Okay, so I'm back. I have painted the rustic box, the blue, two coats. It had a little bit of bleed through, so we're going to have to kind of like 
really work it sort of shabby in it up a little bit um, and now I'm going to point the camera down and we're going to kind of watercolour really simple we don't want a lot of detail really on it um, on the rabbit and um, then we'll put the hot glue on glue, glue on the rabbit decal maybe do some shabbying on the box and um, then uh, we'll put the silhouette um, decal apply it and I'll stencil that and then we'll be done really so um, I'll just move the camera down okay so I'm hoping the light's good enough that you can actually see my wee a bit here uh, what I've done off camera is I've got some dark brown umber and I've mixed it with a little bit of the buff titanium and I've got the lid which is slightly darker and I'm wanting just to do a sort of kind of watery colour so um, I'm just going to sort of kind of like just kind of load it up a wee bit just going to do this give it a wee bit of texture obviously I'm going to have to paint my tail in and give them a wee nose and things but just to take this kind of kind of not as much as that Just keep your brush moving to make it look like there's movement. And we'll go back over there with a darker colour in a minute. Try and avoid his tail because we'll do that in white. Again, that's a wee bit dark. dark but I don't want it as orangey as I see there so I'm just going to put that so you can see what I'm doing I'm just kind of patting it back giving it a wee bit of just like movement like hair but it's also like kind of quite stylized so not you know I'm not I'm not trying to paint a proper sort of kind of like rabbit so is better as being white I've got some white chalk paint off of camera here I'll just use that for his tail then I can get it open there we go so I'm just gonna get a wee I'm just gonna do that and I might do a wee run down there just to maybe make it kind of the appearance of the inside of his ears and um, like that and I'm going to just paint up the sides I always like to do the sides there we go and I'm just going to do that Now to finish him off, I'm just going to get the white chalk paint and just like kind of give him a wee bit of touch. 
each other from these twins. Um, I think I would prefer a design with black and not brown, so I'm going to go back off into the black bar. Just something simple. You don't have to be an artist to do anything like that. You could do if you wanted to, but I'm scared to kind of do it on as you could do and just take your, your brown and just do this. It kind of just makes it look like it's moving, but you just always have to remember to do the kind of strokes and weave, you know, like that his hair would move. So kind of round his neck, maybe like that. Up on his paws, maybe just a wee bit. Take the brush up with the pen. These are acrylic paint pens, I use them all the time, they're so handy. I'm not entirely sure what else I'll be doing with my eye, but I've done it now. Do you know what I am going to do? I think I'm going to do a wee wee blend line of white along here, like he's got a white tongue. I'll just do that edge as well. Now, call that good, I mean, I'm not, it's not your life's work, it's just a wee, a wee bit of fun. Right, so I'm going to move these paints out of the way and I'll move the craft blank out of the way as well. I better put the lid on the white paint because that's the next thing that will apply. And I'll see if I can get the angle that we need to be at for kind of. Just bear with me a minute. Yeah, we're good enough angle there. So this will be going on here, oh, kick on the camera, on here like that. But before I do that, I'm going to give this a wee bit of a, now I can't scrape it because the red will come through. I'm just going to see, yeah, I don't really want red, red is not what I'm looking for. So that's going to be no good. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to, Get a little bit of a plant. I could put brown wax in it, but I don't want to do that there. I want to put some white, white on it first, and then we'll put a wee bit of brown on it. So I'm just gonna kind of like dip my, my brush into the white paint, and then I'm just gonna kind of brush it against the paint the opposite way from the grooves coming down. See that, but I've got a wee bit of bleed through, so I'll just put it on thicker there. Hope I'm not off the wood there, so come on. Right, 
Same for this side. And we'll, I think we'll call that good. So I quite like that, like that. But um, what I'd like to do is maybe do a little tiny bit of maybe brown, but that brown that I mixed up is a little bit too. Um, a wee bit too um, orangey and I'm not wanting an orangey brown so I'm just off camera I'm just putting a little bit more black into this so that it's so that's the sort of colour now there's hardly anything in my um in my palette there hardly any paint at all and my brush is just the same one that I had the white in I'm just gonna dip it in there and just very orangey and I'm not really wanting orangey colours so if I can put this one a bit darker again it's trial and error to what you want um, I just don't want it to look too orangey that's not the look I'm going for yeah that's better so what I'm doing is I'm just I'm trying to bring out all the, the roughness of the wood with this with the with the like the white and the brown just to make it look extra it's an old shabby box you may as well just make it look like it is i mean you can't make it slick and shiny and the paint is thick on it so you're just doing the best because it's the look you're going for right right quite like that i'm gonna wax this at the end but i'm gonna use clear wax i'm not gonna so this is this and this is the rabbit that's going to go on here. Now I'm just trying to think what colour I'm going to put this on first right to the bottom edge and then I'll glue, the last thing I'll do is I'll go glue the rabbit on um, just so that I know that everything's straight but I'm just trying to think what colour I'll do the words and I think I'll probably, I wasn't going to do this but I think I'll probably just do them black. Um, so I'm using a really old rubbishy bit of transfer tape here but if you can keep on using it and it's good when it's just not too sticky but um doesn't matter if it takes some of the paint off this either because of the look we're going for so I'm not really although I'm just hoping that it sticks it's still quite damp um oh I lost my e. so that I can make sure that this is pretty much where I want it to be. Right, that's pretty good there. And who hasn't seen somebody use a silhouette? But you know you haven't. It's just it's a machine that cuts things out in plastic. You can either make stencils, um, which I've done, which you're cutting the middle bit out or you can make um, the stickers that go onto things um, and that's you taking away the outside and using the transfer tape to apply that. I'm really sorry my husband's so loud on the phone. Letters. Now, I'm still pondering what colour to do this, but I think probably it's best. Probably best that I do it with black. 
Now, I'm going to stop the camera and I'm going to go and find a, a wee sponge because it'll be better. And I'm doing this because you really want it as flat as possible as you can so that you don't have, um, it doesn't lift and the paint doesn't go underneath. And um, that's the worst when it all just comes out and it runs underneath and it looks horrible. It's rotten, it's rotten when that happens. I feel like I've just taken a bit more air away. The side of this. See that way? Just stick my head down, it's not perfect, but I don't want this back. doesn't matter right okay so I'll go and try and locate a makeup sponge and I'll be back in a minute couldn't actually find it and already I'm teaching everybody bad habits I have stencil brushes in my other studio I can't be bothered to go and get them so um, I'm putting it on with a little brush now the, the trick is when you're doing it with a brush is very little paint on your brush and really you just kind of you're dabbing it like this. It's better if you use makeup sponges because it's less chance and more runny your paint and this is quite runny. The more chance you've got of it bleeding underneath. So I'm gonna maybe be crying at the end of this because I was told really to go and get my other proper stencil brush. But I keep meaning to get more of those little, you know, the little makeup cheap makeup sponges. They're fab for doing things like this. So I'm going to stencil all of this off camera and I'll be back in a minute. So I completed the stencil um, and I pulled off all my weeding things and then what I did, did was I gave it a really good sand, the word a really good sand because I wanted to make it look like it was on it and it's been on it for ages and it's starting to fade away so this is just something I designed myself on the silhouette. I just the March Hair, Herb and Company, um, Lavender, Sweet Basil and Bay, uh, just something I thought about that sounded quite nice together and it's kind of spring like so um, I've done that and I'm going to decide on the positioning of my, I'll try and get a wee bit closer, my cute wee rabbit. And I'm going to put a wee bit of tufts of grass, I think, either side and once I get them stuck on. So that's about right. Just get some glue for my glue gun. Make sure he's glue, plenty of glue on him. I'm going to just quickly stand up so his positioning looks good. I don't want him too near the top. I don't want him too on top of the words either. So. And I think I've got them over glued there, so I'm just going to do that as I said and pick it out. And I'm wondering, I'm thinking about putting a little, maybe a bow on them. But the only thing is, the ribbon I have is maybe a little bit thick. I'm wondering if I could. engineer something in every aspect. First of all what I think I'll do is I'm just going to put a spot of glue on my hot glue gun just around there like that. Just enough to hold it together and then what I think I might do is I'll just use thin gauge wire for the middle. So I'll just cut a bit off there. And Satina up and twist. Get rid of the glue gun these strands which seem to be stuck everywhere. There. Yeah, I like that. Maybe as a wee sort of bow tie. Yeah. I'm wondering about Rusty Bell, but maybe a smaller Rusty Bell. I've got a little smaller Rusty Bells under my, under my table. I'm wondering whether maybe 
Acá traen una wire. There's both ends round to the front. I'll be able to attach. I don't know about this. I'm, I'm undecided. Maybe it left me it left well enough alone without the bow. That started now, so. I think I will. Yeah, we can just stand up to get the position ready for this. Mm -hmm. Right, I'm going to just bring you in. So, that's that. That's his little, the little box. Um, I'm going to seal it. I'm either going to seal it with varnish. I'm going to seal it with, um, see I don't want clear, clear, it'd be good if I had varnish that was kind of yellowy tinted. Actually, do you know what, I've got some varnish here that's gone a little bit wrong and it's really yellowy. I think this would be ideal. I'm just going to go forth and varnish it now as well. Um, and it is very yellow actually. This could colour a few yet. Oh no, this is going to be perfect. I don't put this kind of varnish on your things unless this is the look you're looking for. I would put clear on it, but I want. Oh no, it's starting to run. Hang on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Don't panic. What did I do with my cloth? Right. I can maybe fix that. Just rubbing too hard on the words. I'm not too concerned about it. It's supposed to look rustic, but now I'm just going to dab like that over there because I don't want to have it that it rubs off any more of the words. Um, what would be great right now is something sharp and an old rag just so that I can kind of up where it's run. Oh, I'm not too concerned about it, it'll be fine. Right, it's fine to touch up here, it's nice and dry up here. But I just don't want to go anywhere back near those letters. This is great, this is really, really kind of giving it that sort of, it's been around, it's been hanging about outside for ages. Get it down in there. Now you want it kind of thick around the decal because you want people to think it's been re-varnished over time and they haven't done a very good job. Well, pretty much like this one. do the size. So the next, I was going to take you outside and get some greenery and things but it's it's incredibly cold out there so I'm just going to stage it with artificial and so what I'll do is I'll just finish this side and I'll bring the camera down and I'll finish the other side off camera. Actually, do you know what? Since you're here, I'll just do both sides and then you know what it's looking like in every angle. I love this, this is fab. This would not do if you're looking for perfection or crisp white clean, but for me, this is giving it that really. Now, as you can see, I only painted halfway down inside it because you don't want, there's nothing worse than seeing the color it was before poking through. So if anybody's down that far looking in a pot, well, you know, they deserve to not see what they want. <laughs> Herbing Company, the March Hair Herbing Company, 
um, spring planter box. Now I will go and stage this out somewhere pretty for you for all to see. My name's Lel from Made by Marley. Um, I'm using our craft banks today, our rabbit craft bank. You can use anything, but if you like this video, um, please um, subscribe. And if you think somebody else would quite enjoy making one of these, feel free to share and leave a comment below. Thank you.